guys. So, part four. I just think we need to bring out a few details, especially in her face. So I'm going to go over, now that everything is dry, I'm going to go over it with uh, some ink or paint marker. This is a uh, Faber-Castell pit pen in dark sepia. I'm going to try brown first. I really don't think right now I want to add a lot of black, but let's find out. I don't want to give her too many details because that's not what she's about. But I, at the same time, I want to give her a few details. I do also want to keep her loose, sketchy, suggestive, and I do think that's actually giving me what I want. Let me zoom in a bit to her face. I'm not even sure you can pick that up on camera. I may still add a little bit of black. The baby wipes are close at hand because that way if I put too much of something on here I don't like, I can take it off immediately. And, and this pen's not, not really liking working on the acrylic paint. Because it's not really made for that, but I don't have a dark brown fine tipped paint pen. And if I do, I can't find it. I know I didn't purge it. I thought I had one, so. That's better, but I don't think it's enough. So we're gonna, um, I've got a variety here on the desk under the camera of black pens. That one's too thick. Yeah, that one might work. This is a Posca pen. This is black. This is make me nervous. This is gonna make me nervous. Again, I don't want to put too much. Um, I want to keep the lines loose and sketchy. You saw me in the previous videos continuing to step up and back, up and back to just get a different perspective on the painting as I was working on it. I will probably do some voiceovers rather than just speed through. At the time of filming this, I'm not sure, but I, my guess would be I, I will. Yeah, she really did need some black. This is an, a Posca paint pen, which is acrylic paint. I don't want to... make too many details. I do want her to be loose and sketchy. Uh, suggestive. Yeah, that's better. Let's see. You know, I hesitate to put a, a thicker paint pen on there. I don't think I want to. I like the thin, fine one. I don't think she needs more than that. I think she just needed a little bit of paint pen, to be honest. I think that's it. We're going to let it dry and we're going to see. I'll be back. I do think I want to add a few more.
we've got some heavy texture going on here, so. I want to bring a little bit of the black line across this way, which you're probably not going to even see on camera. I can see in real life. I want it to look like a sketchy sort of a study in paint and texture, and it does look like that. And I really do think she's done now. I think I don't want to add anything else. So like I said in an earlier video, which I may or may not edit out, <laughs> she is going to be for sale. And I have to clear coat her still. If you're interested, I'll put the Etsy link in the description below. If she's sold, I will try to put that in there that she's sold. Uh, message me if you're interested. I don't know yet how much I'm going to charge. She's about 24 by 24. Let me get a tape measure and measure. Hold on. She's 24 by 24, so she will be for sale in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this little series, and if you would like to see more of this, leave something in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.